Hey, Fire Signs, and welcome to my daily read. This is for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, in that order for Monday. Let's see, what is tomorrow? The 17th already. Holy crap. For Monday, September 17th. It's beginning to be my favorite time of year. Fall is coming. Halloween. Most definitely, definitely my favorite part of the year. All right, let's see what our fire signs have for Monday, 17th. For Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, in that order, in love. Guys, bottom of the deck card is the five of wands with the eight of wands and the fool under that. So, um, having a lot of, uh, competition, um, for some of you, but for the majority of you, this is an internal battle, um, back and forth in your mind, um, whether or not to give somebody a second chance or whether to give up working on something. Some of you have a lot of internal conflicts about, Something that um, someone that left in the past, you or them, and you've been putting in a lot more work than they have, and it's just not manifesting. And so you're deciding whether or not to give up or whether to um, give them a another chance. So these, this is your uh, current internal conflict. Most definitely for you, Aries, uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, males and females, you have a choice. That is most definitely your situation um, that I speak of. You don't know what to do. You could, you've got a lot of thoughts up in your in the air. Um, let's see, airy smells. The tower. Yeah, you're worried if you make a decision, um, it's going to blow up somebody's world. Um, whether it be the person that you are leaving, um, or whether it be yourself or if there's somebody else involved, you're worried that whatever decision you're going to make, somebody's going to get hurt. So you got a lot of, you got a lot of thoughts going around in your head. You got a lot of uh, battling back and forth between um, your own mind on whether to give up and walk away uh, you know, or to give this person a second chance. Uh Yeah, Aries, I um, I think that you're not going to give this person a second chance. I feel you are going to uh, blow up whoever's world you're in right now um, with a commitment. I do feel that you will eventually walk away from that and move towards somebody else. Aries, females. Yeah, Aries, females, you feel betrayed. Um, you have a decision whether to stay or go because you feel this person really hurt you. You thought they should have been your, cho you should have been their choice in the first place. So why the, why the hell are you coming back to me now? You should have picked me first. You feel like whatever was done to you was very unfair, uh, very undeserving in which it was. This person does have a lot of guilt about this. However, they are, um, they feel a lot of guilt about it and they really do want a, uh, New beginning with you, uh, Aries. Yeah, a lot of a lot of thoughts going in these uh, the Aries uh, people's mind this week or tomorrow. I mean for Monday. Uh, Leo's, you guys are waiting on a fire sign, or this could be you. Um, you're waiting to get word on what's what's up, what's gonna what's going on. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Leo's you guys are going through a dark time right now. You guys are going through a transformation. Um, you're not wanting to offer your love to anybody. You guys are taking a very cold approach to this. You're not letting anybody in your heart. So this is you, Leo. You are not sending out, um, any messages to anybody. You are, uh, going through this transformation and you're holding back. You're not going to make a love offer to anybody. 
um, you're starting out on a new journey, but you're starting out on your own and, uh, you're not wanting to work on this connection anymore for you, Leo men, Leo females. Yeah, you are um, tired of defending yourself. You're tired of trying to prove your worth to somebody um, with the five of wands and the seven wands of wands. There's a lot of battles. There's a lot of arguments, conflicts, um, because you feel like you have to prove yourself, have to talk this person into feeling your worth. And um, you are you are going to take a step back, Leo females. You um, also... I don't see you making a decision though today. I see you just um, not texting them back or not responding to their emails or phone calls um, is what I see for you females. Sagittarius, you guys have the four of cups in the reverse. Um, somebody was blocking out their heart space. Um, yeah, somebody was trying to block you out. They weren't listening to their heart. They were... Um, trying to make something work somewhere else. And they were ignoring the gift that the universe um, had given to them, which is you, Sagittarius. They are coming out of that, however, because it is in the reverse. So they're letting their selves start to feel uh, their emotions and act on their emotions. This could be you as well, Sagittarius. But, um, yeah, let me see, Sagittarius men. Sagittarius females. Okay. Yeah. So for you, Sagittarius, you guys are going to decide to work on this. This is the bottom of the deck. Um, Sagittarius men, you guys uh, have been in this hanging position for a long time. Um, the most definite positive side of that is you healed while you were in this time of enlightenment. Um, you put your, your heart on pause. And, and you really took a step back to heal. Now you are ready for this new beginning with this person. Um, you are more than ready. Um, Sagittarius females, you, I pulled one card and two fell out. So I'm keeping them both. You have the ace of cups and the page or queen of pentacles in the reverse. So you're feeling unstable right now. This, um, this person, when they blocked you out, caused you a lot of emotional up and downs. It made you feel like you were imbalanced, um, unstable, you didn't want to love and nurture yourself. You had a lot of uh, internal conflicts on whether or not to continue to fight for this relationship. And you just didn't want to put in the work. Um, since then, you have healed. You have been in a long wait waiting for someone as well. And you have healed and are ready for this new beginning with this person. Um, if they want to take that leap of faith with you. Um, I do see them back to take that leap. I do, however, see there's a pause in this for some reason. Let me pull one more card. Why is there a pause on Sagittarius in their connection? Okay. There's a pause because, uh, well, for one, they're a Virgo um, or um, somebody who has a Virgo-like uh, tendencies or... Um, you know what I'm saying. I just went blank. But anyways, they're in a time of thinking. They have a, in, um, been awakened. They are enlightened to the connection. They are returning. Um, they are sending you out messages or trying to connect with you. Fire sign um, to let you know that this third party is, is done with. They, however, have not left the third party. They have emotionally been done. They emotionally cut them off. Um, but they're reaching out to you. And it's going to go a little slow. I do see in the next eight weeks, though. However, I do see um, this relationship for Sagittarius males and females coming back together. So let me pull you guys a card. What can our fire signs expect for Monday? Whoa. All right. So for uh, Aries, I got you deserve love. So um, you are lovable. You... Uh, or I don't know why I said for, I don't know why I said for Aries. I mean, for fire signs, all of you. So, okay. Um, you deserve love. It's time to love yourself first. It's time to allow love to come in. Um, and that will happen when you let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally because you are calling in your soulmate. 
you don't need to control the situation when you do your work. Um, the universe will bring them in for you. So make sure you're doing your prayers, your affirmations, um, visualizing your relationships, setting your goals, um, and doing the work to make those goals a reality. Um, you can make goals all day long, but they'll never become uh, a reality if you don't put in the work. So, um, yeah, make sure you guys are doing uh, what you need to do. Um, try not to control the situation. They are coming. They will be back. Um, but most importantly, love yourself first because I see a lot of self-sabotage here. Um, we know you can love that person, but um, can you love yourself? Do you love yourself? That's when that person's going to come back. So, all right, Fire Signs, I hope you have a beautiful Monday. As always, I want to thank you for supporting my channel. Make sure you check out my new website. I finally got that um, up and running. That's where you can book all your uh, readings now. If it's on mobile, uh, you can just scroll through and hit the reading and I'll bring you to the booking page. If you're on a computer, the booking tab is in the top corner. Um, I'm also on Facebook now as well. So if you um, subscribe to my channel on or my website, you get a discount on a reading as well as if you... Um, friend me on Facebook under Indigo's Vi or Indigo Visions. Um, for those of you who have ordered a reading in the last two weeks, paid me and have not received it. They are currently uploading. We did not have power and internet for the last three days um, due to a storm that came through here. So I was kind of uh, had my hands tied. So um, I am uploading them. So please be patient. If you don't receive them by tomorrow, um, morning by noon, then please email me. Otherwise they are coming. I haven't forgot about you. Um, and they are done. It's just, I'm backlogged from, um, the storm. So I hope you guys have a beautiful Monday. Thank you for supporting me, um, and my dream, my vision, my journey. And, um, as always, I send you love, light and God bless.